The West Virginia legislature has until this Sunday to jointly come to an agreement on whether the state will eliminate the personal income tax. Local policy analysts are concerned about what may be in or left out of a bill with only three days left to debate it. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick has an update on what's next. In a close vote, the West Virginia Senate passed a last-minute amended version of the state income tax repeal bill. As of this afternoon, the House is now waiting to receive that modified version and decide whether to agree with the changes. The timeline is so tight, observers fear what the final product might look like. They would have to uh, create a conference committee with members of both the House and the Senate would come together and try to work out a compromise. And then that compromise would have to be accepted by both the full House and the full Senate. House Democrat leaders are already expressing opposition to the Senate's changes, which includes raising the state sales tax to 8%. House Minority Leader Doug Scaff Jr. and Minority Whip Sean Fluharty said, this is not a tax cut, this is a tax shift. We stand against the plan that Senate Republicans passed last night. O'Leary says the Senate's version of the bill compared to the House's version is not fiscally phased out over the years. It's a lot more murky. It's a lot less clear of, you know, after that first cut, you know, when would there be another cut? How soon? How much? What will the impact on the budget look like? Democrats are especially critical of Republican Senator Eric Tarr, the driving force behind the Senate version. That is one man's uh, vision for West Virginia. He's a physical therapist, and I don't know about you, but I don't want a physical therapist making tax decisions for me. Governor Jim Justice extended the legislative session by one day to give the House a little more time to reach an agreement on the tax repeal, knowing Republicans already have a supermajority in the House. Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. The Senate also still needs to approve a budget for next year ahead of Sunday's midnight deadline to end the 2021 legislative session.